Hi everyone, welcome back and uh, in this video we are going to explore something new as you know that this channel is very much known for exploring new stuff which is happening in the mobile app industry as well as the app industry. So today we are going to explore two things, not one. We will be exploring project IDX which is now in beta um, and uh, I was just waiting for the right time to make content on IDX because I think it's a very promising ID which is on cloud and second and most important uh, I think uh, uh, part of this video would be around Firebase Gen Kit. So as you know Google announced a lot of AI tools in, it, in this year's Google I.O. and I feel that Firebase Gen Kit is one of the, those tools which I personally like the most. I have been doing some work on it and I have a lot of thoughts about it. So first of all this Gen Kit as you can see is an open source framework uh, which helps you build and deploy uh, production ready AI powered apps. Um, and now you must be wondering like why should not we use Google AI Studio or things like that. So I mean once you start using GenKit then you'll see there is a lot of advantage which you get when you use GenKit and then it, it works locally as well so that gives you a very much positive point about it. But then having said that I would say that okay let's not waste our time but let's jump into it and let's see that uh, how things work. So uh, let's explore project IDX along with GenKit. So um, first thing is that you have to sign in with your Google account to explore project IDX. Anyone can do it now. And then what you have to do, you have to accept some license and then you'll come here. Now you can choose a template right out of the box which you can use. So what we can do is like we can make a Flutter app and uh, we can integrate GenKit as REST APIs inside it. So we can start with a Flutter app but you can make a Go app, you can make, a, make an Astro uh, related project, Angular project. Uh, next JS project, uh, Python, Node.js, Express, and if we see all the templates, I mean there is a lot, but it really supports Flutter very well. That's one of the things, and it is also coming with this Android Studio thing. So once I'll have access to this, I will explore that as well. So for now, let's start with the Flutter app. Let's see how we can get start with Flutter as well as GenKit. Uh, so let's give it a name. Let's say GenKit Flutter app. So we have to set up a new workspace and then you will click uh, click on this create button and then it will take a moment to set up your workspace to initialize all your environment and to build the environment and then you'll finally get a project out of it like uh, it's it will feel like a normal vs code app only um, it is just that it is on cloud as compared to vs code which works locally so this can be very handy if you don't have a very like a good device as in like good laptop or if you are preparing somewhere where you don't want to have a lot of setup and you don't want to like like if you are let's say giving a demo you are teaching people then i think i think you don't have to do a lot of setup you help you'll have just to, uh, you'll just need to go to this idx.google.com or idx.dev and you will be good to go directly and on the other hand genkit if you see it is designed for app developers so Again, if you are making an AI product, AI first product, then this could be a very good option to try. Now, GenKit actually works with two languages as of now, if you see. It has JavaScript slash type, TypeScript support or you can use Golang. But we will be using TypeScript, JavaScript, something like that. It should be easy. It's not very difficult initially. Uh, let's refresh it for a bit so that we can just make sure that our workspace is set up. And this can take some time as I mentioned earlier as well. Now uh, once you are done with that you can see I have this app if let me just zoom a little bit and you can see we have the similar kind of folders which we have in a normal Flutter application and then we also see these uh, VS Code specific things here like you know this is how the VS Code uh, looks like and you can see because we chose a flutter app we have the dart and flutter plugin already installed and then we have this um, testing project idx from where we can directly host our app to firebase if you can see and deploy to cloud run we can add gemini api add google maps platform and add secret manager so a lot of good things here and we can also see the backend ports which are being used so this is pretty cool this looks pretty like dope and uh, let's see if we have a demo running of this particular counter app so now you can see we have two previews right on the right side one is this web preview one is this android preview 
and both of it will display what is happening around here let me just zoom it a little bit more so that you can have a better uh, result here along with that you can see we have this uh, lighthouse thing to check the performance we have a share preview link and we can also open a new window everything else remains similar to normal vs code there is nothing much and we can now finally see the flutter demo home page and here on the android uh, this is sort of an emulator but uh, i mean it's it's on web so it also tries to give you the similar android experience and let's try to change certain things here let's say for example we can see if it offers us the uh, yeah you can see that it also gives me gemini as well as uh, it also gives me intellisense which is like and you can see as soon as i change it from purple to green it changed its, its color to green and web will also refresh and we see a green color so this is a pretty good way of starting with things now um how does it work so if you go into dot idx folder you see this dev dot nix so what is actually happening here that this is using something called a nix os so if i'll go inside it so you can see that this is a nix os we are using uh, this for idx like project idx and to install any dependency you will have to install it you have you will have to search for packages from here for example if i search let's say flutter then you can see on channel 24.05 which is the current channel which we are using we have a lot of flutter packages like 3.19 3.16 3.13 and 3.220 which is the latest one which is uh, being used by this project idx and you can specify all these things under these packages as well but right now we have all the extension all the things specified in dev.nix and we will go into detail um, by the way this is not using 24.05 this one is using 23.11 and we can change it to 24.05 because that is the latest one so once we do that let's say we do it like this and we save it then it will say that you should rebuild your environment so what i'll do i'll just click here and it will rebuild my environment based on that what kind of settings i am changing and once i am done with that um, let's wait for a little bit and it will rebuild my environment and uh, it can take slight like time so nix os again as i mentioned this is what is being used by um, this project idx and it's taking some time it depends on your internet connection because it's a cloud id so those kind of things can happen and once this is done we can jump into okay i i, I it was just about to complete and i press the refresh button so it will take slight moment okay now we have c 24.05 as the environment and things will work like that okay we can also access terminal and anything like that inside this as well let's go like this open terminal with the same shortcuts what we use on uh, vs code and let's say if i run flutter doctor over here then you can see that okay this looks nice and we can see android toolchain license are not accepted so we can accept those licenses also if we want uh, or i think we should not do any of that like i mean there are certain issues which, is, which it is showing but more or less uh, i mean it's fine we can still make it work and it is, it is working already so now how we can start with gen kit inside this so what we can do for now i mean this is probably not the best practice right now but let's to make these things very easy uh, we will install gen kit or uh, that dependency inside this folder itself the my app folder just for the sake of simplicity for now so what you can do you, we can also see if we have npm here so npm version i can see and we have npm where we can see that 10.2.4 now let's also see if I, we have firebase over here and we can see that we have also firebase over here and uh, oh, why it's not showing the version yeah 13.10.0 now what we can do here inside this app we can say you know uh, what i want is i want to use uh, let's say npm so npm install and then we can just say gen kit or let's say let's not do it 
how about uh, we use this command firebase init gen kit and this is basically a command which you can use directly here or you can just make a normal node package uh, node app basically and you can install gen kit manually but let's try this command firebase init gen kit and it says that you know you are not authenticated so what we can do is we can just say firebase login and this is the command i am writing and it will ask me okay do you want to see this 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 and it will ask me to authenticate and i will choose my id whatever id i am using for this particular project and confirm this session which is ba00 something something okay this is the correct one so i'll just say yes this is my session id i'll have to copy this and i'll have to paste this here okay allow and then we can just so we are now successful logged in and now i can do is firebase init gen kit and let's see what it does so it is asking me if i want to use an existing project or i want to create a new project so i want to use an existing project so i have a lot of projects so let's say i will use gen kit demo app so this is a project which i created you can also create your own also it is asking firebase integration uses cloud function for firebase so initialize function to continue yes because we will be using cloud functions to do the job and then it is asking whether i want to enforce this style no i don't want anything like that and do you want to install dependencies using npm yes i want to install the dependencies and as as soon as i do that you will see there is a functions which i can see here right and uh, this functions is basically where all our node js specific things would be there gen kit specific things would be there or in short you can say that this is where everything will be there and now it asks me that install the gen kit cli globally or just for this project let's install it globally because we will be doing a lot of stuff on this gen kit cli thing and once we are done with this part um okay this looks nice and now we have this functions functions let's go inside it we have this tsconfig.json then we have package.json and package.json gives us this firebase admin firebase function and uh, it should also have some gen kit specific thing which we don't see right now so let's see in the source if we have something around gen kit nope not yet so we see that we don't have anything regarding gen kit yet so how we can do that uh, let's do one thing let's go to functions cd functions so now we are in the cd functions and here we can say gen kit init and it should initialize uh, gen kit for me now we will be using firebase obviously now it also asks me that which model provider i want to use so with gen kit you can use google ai you can use google cloud vertex ai you can use olama or uh, gemma whatever you want to so i will use google ai and uh, google ai is basically if you have access to google ai studio then again this can be very very uh, useful and it will install the npm packages for me regarding this and then you will see a lot of changes happening in the code base as well and uh, let's wait for a moment and i think we should be good in some time it is installing npm packages so if you see the experience right now we it it is just a normal um vs code experience so far and i'm using the browser right now i'm using chrome there is nothing else i am using and this is working pretty good for me and uh, yeah now it is done would you like to set your ts config with the suggested settings uh yeah set if unset and again i'll say the same thing would you like to generate a sample flow i will say yes i want to generate a sample flow and it is giving me a warning that google ai is currently available in limited regions so right now i'm making this video in india and google uh, ai is available in india if you are watching from some other country or uh, some some place where gemini google ai is not available so you can use vertex ai or you can use something else and now we have this thing ready over here and now if you see if i go to package.json i will see this gen kit ai core dot prompt firebase flow google ai all the available or required things along with express 
so that if you want to have it as your own server you can do that as well we will go into that as well right now uh, let's go to index.ts and here i see something called zord so zord is a schema which we will be using for input and output um, this is what we will explore here we see gemini 15 flash from google ai which we can use again uh, now it says that configure gen kit where you can specify the plugins which you are about to use for example firebase google ai we can also use dot prompt and all things like that and we have a basic flow which we call menu suggestion flow which is having some policies and things like that and then it is using generate function and using gemini 15 flash model or not 15 it's 1.5 um so my bad and then it will set some configuration like the temperature and all and it will return the response okay how we can test it how we can get a taste like taste of gen kit so inside this functions folder you can write this command gen kit space start so it will start the server for me for the gen kit server but it will not work i will tell you why so if you see here it is doing something something and let's say that i trust this okay so it is asking me to select a google cloud project so from here um generative language client let's use this project and uh, basically what it will say it will say that you know you haven't specified the google gen ap google api key or gen ai api key so basically what we are using we are using google ai right for um ai specific things so we have to get a key so you can get it manually like if you want you can go to google ai studio so let's search google ai studio and uh, let's go inside it and uh, let's generate a key if it is not there so i have to sign in and let's say i sign in from my one of accounts and then i sign into google ai studio and from here you can see we have this get api key i can click here and i can create a new api key if it is not there and once we are there uh, let's choose this something something and create api key and now if i do that i can copy the key okay this is one way or we can have we can directly go to this project ids tab here and we can see here that you know add gemini uh, so adding gemini api to workspace and this will basically add the gemini api key so this is where you can see get api key i can access it from here and this is the same key which we have been using so far like i i copied it externally now we have this and open api key in dashboard so i can see the same key here as well in this dashboard and where you can see it right show key and it will show me the key basically oh yep here is the key so we have the key how we will set it up now right what we can do is we can export this key so here in the um here in this uh, terminal we can say export google gen ai api key is equal to and we can paste it so if you want to see export google gen ai api key and you can paste it and that should be fine now we can say gen kit start and this time it will start my gen kit for me with a, a basic flow and it will be running on a local host so you can see we have this gen kit tools ui in green color green means success so let's open this in a new url and you will see a brand new gen kit experience and uh, it will take a little bit time yeah we we can see welcome to firebase gen kit and this looks pretty cool and here you can see in detail let's uh, move it here and here you can see detail that we have one flow which is the sample flow menu suggestion flow we have the model google ai gemini pro google ai gemini pro vision 1.5 pro 1.5 flash all those things so uh, and if if you want we can have more one than more than one model like we can also use vertex ai we can use olama things like that we don't have any tool retriever indexer embedders which again we will go and we'll see how we can have tools retrievers and things like that but for now let's use this menu suggestion flow here we can have some input 
let's say i want to get some suggestion around pizza so i can write pizza here and we don't have an auth json so let's uh, specify a empty one and then let's run it so it will use my api key it will go and check and it will give me the response back and you can see the pizza leo speak and it gives me a description some example of topping presentation and benefits so what exactly happened what it did uh, you can click on this view trace button on the bottom and it will tell you what exactly happened so it went to the google ai gemini 1.5 flash latest this is the kind of input which it gave as a role suggest an item for the menu of a pizza themed themed restaurant this is the prompt basically and then uh, it gave this output and uh, basically everything whatever happened how much duration it took you know start time end time and uh, and uh, span id trace id all these things you can find here and uh, this is this is how it looks like you can also use it to open in model runners so this is a very cool thing to trace everything what exactly happened if you run multiple models everything will happen in a single place and then, and this is pretty cool i would say and um, okay now let's go back to our code which again we can go here and see what we did so here you can see we had this input as a subject and we said that suggest an item for the menu of subject themed restaurant and in the subject we passed pizza and also you can see in the cli also we got this response and uh, everything was displayed here so i think this is pretty good way to start with genkit i hope you loved this tutorial we got we got an idea that how to get started with genkit how to start with project idx we created our first flutter app also we ran it as well and uh, let me know if you are interested in more of it we will be uh, like creating this series to do a lot of things together so how much excited you are you have to just tell me in the comment of uh, this video and also don't press uh, don't forget to press the subscribe button because if you are not subscriber you won't uh, get my future updates and if you subscribe if you like the video if you comment down then that means that you want more video on this subject so let me know and i'll see you in the next one bye bye take care